What is going on guys and welcome back to Dizzy Magic Kingdom. Today, today's gonna be a fun one. As you can see, well actually, my currency's kind of low compared to last time, but I already went in and I have bought Gaston's Tavern. I have not finished it yet, so we're gonna do that today. Hopefully we can start fighting Gaston today. I believe if we look at the event, that is the next thing after we build his tavern. Yep, we have to get Gaston and we have to stop him from ruining the ball, then try to drive him off, and then we have some of the our uh, costumes. And you guys let me know, the, the costumes I don't believe were available for another like five days. So luckily we're not really behind on that. We're actually about probably where we should be. And also, a couple things you guys reminded me of in the last episode. The silver chests actually have a reward as well. Let's see, right here this croissant stand. Maybe we'll try to get that at some point. I'll put this silver chest down and maybe we'll get lucky down the road. And also, these St. Patrick's Day stands. I bought two of them. I have one here and I have one over back over here and with both of those it gave me extra happiness which I've already lost now and I'm back down to I guess joyous yeah so that's where I'm at right now but I got them you guys let me know and now we got them so we'll see down the road if I can get the other uh, croissant one but for now not really worried about it also let's go ahead and welcome Lumiere back in I've been leveling up some characters off camera to level 4 for the Beauty and the Beast event mainly those characters only I've been doing a couple others that I got to like level 9 or level 10 that I'll show you guys later. So right now, Bell, Beast, and Lumiere are all level 4. Cogsworth level 3 and he's good to go. As well as Mrs. Potts is at level 3 and Chip is at level 1. So we can actually just, we'll get him up right now. Let's go ahead and end, we'll go ahead and end that right now. So now he's level 2 because I got to the point where I wasn't even getting the roses anymore from that little side quest. I wasn't even getting them anymore because I had so many so I had to start burning them up just to take advantage of everything. So that's why I've been doing that. I could probably level up still some characters some more, but I want to wait till the end of the episode just in case we need any of them for today's stuff. So let's start off by welcoming, or not welcoming, unlocking Gaston's Tavern. Lumiere, my good man, you're looking a bit dimmer than usual. I may regret asking this, but what's the matter? Ah, Cogsworth, unless you can tell me where I can find our foe Gaston, you cannot ease my pain. Ah, you mean the tavern in the village? I can't stand the place. Dreadful taste and decor. But if you're looking for guests, oh, the tavern, of course. Monsieur, you've just saved my life, and quite unexpectedly at that. The Hunter's Lair complete. Let's talk to Lumiere. This is actually, it's kind of a cool looking place. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. I like how it's got the picture and everything in the background. I'm sure at some point we're going to have to see Gaston, and probably uh, LeFou, maybe. I don't know if he's going to be in this or not, sitting on that chair. Let's talk to Lumiere. The tavern. Hmm. Bon, I will investigate it on the double. This will take stealth, such a huge qualities which I admit I do not have in abundance, but these are desperate times. Luckily for me, I am already in disguise of a sort. I will blend in with the wall sconces perfectly. Send Lumiere to scout Gaston's tavern. We'll send him off and now let's talk to Beast. Maybe I just haven't read enough about planning for balls, or maybe I just need a book that has more pictures in it. This one looks interesting. A brief, a brief trade history of festive costume. Send Beast to read more about party planning. Yeah, I think he needs to read up on some stuff. For now, I'm going to send a couple people off on their way that I know we're not going to need. Just so they're not in our way. We'll send Aurora off. Belle? No, I need to keep Belle. We can send Bo Peep off. We can send Boo off. Celia we can send off as well. Let's see. Send her. Can we level somebody up? I actually know. Again, I should probably wait because I know if I level somebody up, I'm going to end up needing that spot for somebody else later. So let's go ahead. Let's send Celia off for 12 hours. Don't need to do it with Chip. We'll send Cinderella. All the Beauty and the Beast characters, man. Cogsworth, no. Buzz Lightyear's done with the happiness man. quest. There we go. Let's just go ahead and end them. We'll just end it for now, and we'll see what happens later. Let's end this. Disaster. Gaston. He is not there. But that means the scoundrel must be out in the world, enacting his plan to ruin our ball as we speak. Light espionage complete. Oh, now I got something with Belle, too. Hmm. Well, I did get a letter telling me to meet at the castle. Oh, mademoiselle, you must not trust it. It is Gaston's trickery. Oh, I figured that out pretty quickly, Lumiere. It's signed Love Beast, with two E's, after all. But I'm going anyway. Gaston only understands the direct approach. I'll just have to tell him no to his face. Did y'all see the monorail go by? You don't see that happen very often. That's pretty cool. 
So let's send Belle to trick Gaston into revealing himself. We'll send her off, and now let's go ahead and finish this with Beast and see what's going on. Hopefully he learned how to read a little bit better, because he was struggling there for a minute. Are these fashion plates? I remember those. Look at that jacket. I have to find Cogsworth or Lumiere and show them. This would be perfect for me to wear to the ball. Additional research complete. So for now, oh, something else, okay. Cogsworth, how are the preparations for the ball going? I want it to be special. Bell deserves it. Master, well, may I just say that it's an honor to have you so closely interested in my work. As it happens, I've drawn up a comprehensive 77, that's a lot of points, progress report that should cover just the information you need. Um, send Beast and Cogsworth to discuss the ball. We'll send them off, and in the meantime, we need to see, is Bell still running? She must still be running to the castle, because it's like all the way over here. Bell, where you at? Is that she's, oh, she still hasn't gotten there yet. Oh, there's, just take your time, Bell. Just take your time. We're not waiting on you or anything. We're totally not waiting on you to slowly neander your way to the castle. Just keep going. Just keep her going. Just keep her going. Keep, almost there. Almost there. Almost, okay, there you go. All right. Now we can end that. Okay. There you are, Belle. Still wasting time with that monster, I see. Well, today is your lucky day. You see, I plan a party for the two of us, as well as many admirers. That leads right into a lovely wedding, sir. The last time, Gaston, I won't marry you. He is persistent. Not now, and not ever. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got my own ball to go to. Well, g g well not if I ruin it first. Ooh, he gonna be a party pooper. Or I guess a ball pooper in this case. All right. Hmm. Heavens, ruin the ball, did you say? And after all the work, we, well... This will not stand, my lady. It simply will not. I agree, Cogsworth, and I wanted to talk to you about it first. You're the most organized person I know. Can you gather the others and think of a plan to stop Gaston once and for all? Well, I'll make every effort to live up to your faith in me. Just you wait. I will rally the troops at once. So we'll send Cogsworth after we end him with Beast to organize the resistance. So let's see. So also, guys, if I sound super nasally, I apologize, allergy season's kicking in, it's springtime now, and I am feeling it. So I apologize if I sound nasally in advance. So as per uh, ad, so so as per addendum A and subparagraph C, that's the section on eclair density. If you'll remember, Cogsworth, Cogsworth, that's enough. I'm I'm just happy that everything is going well. Ah, well in that case, I can shorten the time I've reserved for progress report summarization by 55 minutes. Which, may I add, Master, is very efficient of you. Just checking in, complete. Let's go ahead in the meantime and send Cogsworth to organize the resistance. There we go. And we'll talk to Lumiere now. Now, I hear you say, Lumiere, certainly you are masterful at or arranging grand balls. What? Then, is it to be done when the musicians become tired? Alas, there will be nothing to entertain the guests of honor. Send Lumiere to practice his routine for the ball. We'll do that. We'll send both of them off on their way. Oh, what you doing? Are you get a you getting a little sweet over there? Get a little sweet treat. I see you. Uh, let's go ahead and end this if we can. There we go. Organizing the resistance. So we are to confront the brute together at the place where the ball is to be held. Yes, if the brute hasn't destroyed it already, at any rate, the master knows and Bell and everyone else I can find. Oh, it's not the most detailed proposal, I'll admit. But under the circumstances, well, it was the best I could do. Sometimes the simplest plans are best, Monsieur. If we work together, we will surely be victorious. Save our party complete. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Gaston's up to no good. Y'all see that? Everything stands ready, Master. I've briefed the others on insurre insurrectionary. That's a big word. Tactics. Give it a number of stirring speeches. Um, thank you, Cogsworth. But that seems complicated. Weren't we just going to scare Gaston away from the ballroom? That does seem easier. Well, yes, but, uh, um, <laughs> right as always, Master. Forward. Oh, something's going on. Let's go ahead and end this with Lumiere, though, so we are done with everything before we figure out what's going on with Gaston. To that, I say, Lumiere has a plan. While the musicians rest, the Matri Matradi himself will perform, like so. Ah, it is quite the captivating dance, no? Usually more suitable for grand banquets, I find, but for a ball this marvelous, I make an exception. And speaking of this, I should check on Cogsworth. There is always the chance that he has made our ball boring in my absence. He is pretty good at that. Center stage complete. Something else. Now see here, Lumiere, the master has given me full discretion over his china pattern, so the idea that you would decide them for myself, as I already have, Monsieur, this is only natural. All matters concerning kitchenware fall to me. Why, you waxy-eared, addle brain nitwit, this insult will not stand, I say. A duel then, bond. I wholeheartedly accept. 
send Cogsworth and Lumiere to resolve a dispute. Let's send them off, and then what does it say with Gaston? Oh, we can actually start fighting him. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's end this with Lumiere and Cogsworth. Where are they at? I imagine they're somewhere near the castle. Guys, where are you? Guys? Guys? Here, let's just click on this and see if it shows where they are. Where are they at? Okay, no, it's not going to show them. Let's go ahead, though, in the meantime. We're going to send everybody off to start to stop Gaston. Send everybody we can on their way. And luckily, since we have everybody, this will actually be fairly quick. And we'll probably be able to finish it today. So as soon as we can get them done, there we go. Huff, huff, huff. They're exhausted. Perhaps we should let the China pick their own patterns for the ball. Perhaps, perhaps we should have thought of that before. May the best servants win complete. And now, let's go ahead and add them to the mix. Send all of them off. And now, we are going to see. Let's, I want to see actually this fight go down. Because it's over here. I want to see this. Like, this looks pretty cool. That's, I actually really like that animation a lot. I want to see when the rest of them show up. To see what this all looks like before I end it for the first time. Because I want to see what everybody does. Alright, here comes Chip. I know, here comes Belle. Lumiere, Cogsworth, Mrs. P Mrs. Potts is bringing in the rear. Here she comes, just hopping along. Let's get everybody in here. I want to see what this is all going to look like. So we have Chip just over here like, yeah, you do it. You mess him up. You can do it. Got Bell. Got Lumiere. Where'd Cogsworth go? Cogsworth. Oh, he's up at the top. Does he have a sword? He has scissors. That's pretty great. Where's Mrs. Potts going to go? Okay, she's up on the side too. That is pretty cool. I do like that little fight sequence. That looks pretty awesome. That does look pretty cool. I like that. Okay, let's go ahead and end the first round. And we'll go... We're going to have to do this, I believe, three rounds. Yeah, because we have six characters. We have to do it 18 times. We'll go ahead and end it with everybody and send them all right back off. We'll just, like, rinse and repeat as we go. So we'll do that. In that one. Send her back in. There we go. Let's see. Lumiere. We will go ahead and send him off again. Let's see. Send... Bell back in. We need to send Lumiere back in. And we need to end it with Cogsworth so we can send him back in as well. And this will be round number two. Let's see. Nope, come on. Let me click him. There we go. Alright, now I'll send him back in for round number two. There we go. Let's end everybody now. End it with Mrs. Potts and Chip and a whole gang of folks. Let's see, there we go. Click it through with them. With Beast as well. It takes a little bit of time for it to sometimes register that it's done. I like how Beast like jumped off there. That was pretty cool. Let's see if I can show it again the next time. So I think it's just easier to end it with everybody and then send everybody back off. Because then it takes it's a little more time for them to register that they actually finished. And now we can send them all back. I guess on's like, whoo! So over here, like, I got a break for a second, but I'm watching out. So now let's send everybody back in for the last time to stop Gaston. And hopefully, we'll see what goes happens next. I think it's two fights and then we welcome Gaston. We have to get the outfits in between, so I know that's where things are probably going to stop. But we'll see after this finishes <clears throat> what exactly happens. And again, guys, I'm sorry I sound nasally. Springtime is here, and my allergies aren't ready for it. So I want to end this with Beast first, because I like the way his animation was when he was finished. He, like, just dives off. It looks pretty cool. In my opinion, I think that looks pretty cool. But I like that fight scene. I like, you see a Lumiere, like, burned his butt? I want to see if he'll do that again. Let's see if he does it again. I want to watch. Come on, do it again, Lumiere. I want to see this happen again, because that was pretty great. Or if Kaguya wants to, like, poke him in the butt with scissors, that'd be funny, too. Come on. Oh, he's swinging. He's getting swingy. He's getting swingy up there. Come on. All right, now look the other way, Lumiere. Distract. Bell, distract him so Lumiere can burn his butt. Come on. Come on. You're going to do it? Look. Oh, come on, Lumiere. We waited all this time. I know he's going to do it when I'm not looking now. Like, oh, I didn't, I didn't realize the chip squirts water at him. That's pretty cool. I didn't notice that before. I will admit, that's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead. Let's end it with Bell now. There we go. One more person down. Oh, come on. There he goes. Okay, he burned his butt. Now we're good. Now we can end it. <clears throat> All the important stuff is done now. Now we can end this and see what happens right now. All right, let's see what happens. Right, wait a second for it to register. Good. This isn't over, you monster. I'll be back, and Bell will be mine. Good. Gaston, face me, you. And poof, he's gone again. Now Mickey's got something for us, though. Okay, let's talk to him. All this clatter and commotion has reanimated the kingdom's cutlery, and it's even more disorderly than before. We'll have to clear the table, so to speak, and rather more literally than usual. Tap 60 pieces of cursed cutlery. I was wondering if we were going to get another comeback with this. Let's go ahead, let's tap, and let's see how many we can do. It's, I imagine it's going to be 10 at a time again. Hopefully it's not going to be a huge gap in between them. Let's see. Yeah, 
tap you, tap you, tap you, tap you, tap you. Where's that one at? Oh, there it is. It's hiding. Okay, so we got, okay, it's another six minutes one. Not bad. We're probably gonna stop the video here, guys. We fought Gaston the first time. Now, the next step is gonna be to drive off Gaston once and for all. Then we can get the next outfits for Beast and Bell, and then we can try to welcome him. So that's probably where we're gonna stop today. We have a good amount of currency for all that. Luckily, I have no idea. I don't think the costume shop tells us right now how much these cost. Available in four days. So yeah, in about a little under five days, we'll be able to get these. I have no idea how much they're gonna cost, but I'm super excited to get them. So I'm gonna stop, start working on saving up currency. In the next episode, we will work on stopping and banning and banishing and doing all the bad stuff to Gaston once and for all. I hope you enjoyed the video though today, guys. Finally got to fight Gaston. Finally got to see this area put to use. And it's probably my favorite boss fight I've seen so far, so I liked it a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. Let me know in the comments down below where you're at so far in this event. And hopefully we can all get everything and make it all the way to welcoming Gaston. That would be awesome. And guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you want to check out Disney Magic Kingdoms, it's a free game. I'll have a link in the description down below. Thank you for bearing with my allergies today. It's It's been a rough one, but I appreciate you watching anyway. And as always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Later!